show is at its core about the relationship between a photographer and his or her subject, um, which is relevant to all of us in an age of iPhones and digital um, social media where we can take pictures of people and then sort of spread them out in the world. Um, physically and conceptually, Richard Avedon is the center of this exhibition. He's also a, an artist that's really important to us at the Carter. Um, in 1979, we commissioned him to go out and do his series in the American West, which has become one of the major portrait series of the 20th century. Avalon spent six summers traveling throughout the American West from Montana down to Texas, from California and through the desert states of Nevada and New Mexico, looking for people to photograph. He was specifically looking for um, what he called faces that could hold a wall because he knew he was gonna be an exhibition and he was looking for people that would stop you in your tracks, um, knowing that he would print them at the large sort of scale you can see here. Um, Avedon's photographed all kinds of people that he found. He photographed um, drifters and waitresses, he photographed lawyers and coal miners, um, but one of the subgroups that he photographed are Hutterites, who um, are an Anabaptist group of people like the Amish or Mennonites who live simple lives in communal um, sort of areas of the rural American West away from a lot of the rest of mainstream U.S. culture. Um, they actually don't officially condone photography. We're not really sure how Avedon got um, them to sit for him, but seven photographs of Hutterites ended up in the final publication that he made of this project. Um, and the interesting thing about that is then they appeared in the book and on the wall with the kinds of people that in daily life they don't actually interact with, um, with sort of average Americans that usually are very separated from the Hutterites. Um, you can see um, some things about the Hutterites based on their clothing. They have a distinctive dress like a, a, a lot of other Anabaptist groups do. Um, the women often wear floral dresses like this and um, polka dotted kerchiefs over their, um, over their hair. And the men wear very plain black um, outfits including plaid shirts. Avedon put these people in his frame the way that he did any other subject. So he photographed them against a white backdrop outside but in shade um, so that they wouldn't have strong shadows across their faces um, and have a very neutral sort of light quality across their, um, across their bodies. He talked about this as being a way that he could bring out the landscape of the face. He found human faces as, if not more interesting, than the beautiful scenery that you could have seen around them in Montana or the Dakotas and wanted to focus instead on what you could see in the face of his subjects. So Avalon often gets flack from people because um, he had such a strong style to his photographs that people sort of say that he forced his subjects into his style and compare it to scientific specimens sort of being um, put on a blank background and shown in a very strict order. Um, but Avalon was actually really aware of the ethics between um, a photographer and a subject and talked about how he had power over these people and he sort of knew it. Um, one interesting thing that happens to his subject is that even though they are um, humble, simple people in daily life, because of their inclusion in Avalon's project and because of the exhibition and the book, which were such a sort of um, major event of the 1980s, they become sort of celebrities in their own right. Everyone who was featured in the photographs for the exhibition, which we opened here in 1985, was sent a book and they were all invited to come to the Carter and celebrate at the opening. Um, the Hutterites obviously didn't come as they don't tend to travel off of their communal land, but a lot of the other subjects did and sort of were recognizable to the gallery goers at the opening. Some of them were um, took pictures next to their own portraits. Others of them signed copies of the book because people sort of were asking for their autographs. And so in a way, Avedon's um, style of really uh, of highlighting a person's individual body, face, posture and expression meant that these were recognizable people in their own right after his project. Avedon was a really charismatic man. Um, people talk about his energy, his empathy, his enthusiasm, and his style of photography also lent itself to a very human connection. So Avedon used um, a large format camera, which is like a 19th century sort of style camera on a tripod. Um, where you put your head under the hood and sort of make sure everything's in focus and framed the way you want to. But after you've done that, he could step out from underneath the camera um, and talk to people directly while they were being photographed. So he didn't have to hide behind um, a viewfinder like cameras we think of, um, you know, not your phone anymore because you can see it from far away, but sort of snapshot cameras. 
um, Avedon was able to engage directly with people while photographing them, which I think is one of the reasons that his photographs have this sort of intensity of personal connection that you can see through the frame, you know, even over 20 years later.